Minecraft 1.16 has been out for not even a week and there is already a flood of mods coming in, updating and becoming playable for the current version. Every day they're adding more stuff and I think I've got a collection of the top 10 best mods currently for 1.16. This does share a few mods from previous lists, but that's just because they're quick at it, baby. They're quick with the draw. They know when it's time to update. And Fabric Launcher is definitely leading the 1.16 mod race. I'm categorizing these mods one through 10 from least popular to most popular. And we're starting out with a pretty underrated mod and that is the identity mod, which allows you to morph into any mob in the entire game. So to become something, we actually have to kill it. I don't know why, zombie villager. That's what I wanna be. If we hit the menu here, you can see all the things that we can be. Uh, ooh, I'm a spider. I don't, I don't remember killing a spider. Maybe I don't have to kill anything because I'm in creative mode. Gassed? Oh, I have them all unlocked already. You can still walk around like a normal person. It just doesn't, doesn't really look right when you're gassed. But yo, my tentacles move and everything. Fox, golem, illusioner. Oh, wow. Even with that, when you're a zombie, you can still use your weapons and stuff. What happens if I put on armor? Woo. But what if I do this? Oh, I have the I have the item I'm holding in my hand. That's so cool, dude. I'm definitely gonna use this mod in the future. Look here, I can even be a horse. Oh my god. What if I put on horse armor? Is that a thing that I can do? I can sneak as a horse. That's very strange. Didn't know they could. I blend right in. They'll never know that it's me. <clears throat> Man, who the heck did that, dude? Who killed that horse? It definitely couldn't have been that panda. Pandas are passive actually they're not capable of hurting anybody the next mod we have is called the campanion mod which adds a bunch of camping things which include but are not limited to wooden bridges backpacks and decorative blocks a, a lawn chair panda is a little bit too big maybe we can find something else to morph into mm, someone with an actual butt there we go illusioners having the best day of his life Ooh, large tent that's what i want ah look at this we can click to rotate that's nice i wonder if i can, can i take this oh my god look at that Wow, dude, the, there it is, the rope ladder. And we have our nice thick backpack, which is probably the coolest part of this mod. All right, say I'm up here, I wanna get down there, bam. Rope ladder. Oh, and you just keep clicking the top one and it keeps going down. Ooh, that's cool. And as you can see, you don't need blocks behind them for it to work. Infinite ladder, very good. I don't know what it is, it's so satisfying to see that there's like a backpack on my character. Definitely underrated. Get this in the game. I want backpacks. They also have a variety of spears, which is really cool. You can throw them at horses. Ooh, I wonder if we can pick them up afterwards. Oh, we can. I want spears in actual Minecraft, dude. Dang, you even have marshmallows? What? What? Rope bridge, yes. How do we connect them? Is it the grappling hook? That'd be so cool if it was. Whoa, I don't think it is. Whoa, whoa, this is the best item I've ever used. What? That's sick. This is definitely worth the entire mod itself right here. I believe I found it, the rope. So we right click this and we go over to the other post and right click this. Oh, and it, and it turns diagonally. Oh my God, that's so cool. This is nice. Look at that. I wonder, is there like a build limit? How far you can have the bridge? All the way up here. This is gonna be a super long bridge. I'll be surprised if it lets me do it. What? That's so awesome. Can I break it? Oh, whoa. That's actually cool looking. 10 out of 10 mod. This should be number one, but it's not because it's not as popular. But like I said, God, that's so awesome. That paired with the grappling hook. That's all you need to know. Next up on the list, we got Maho Tuskui. Tuskui. Oh, yeah. It's a magic mod and it's very elaborate. This is the first forge mod on the list. Every other one has been fabric. So just from scrolling down here, we can see that it adds a variety of items. A dagger, a bow of projectile did i just stab myself look at this right click i'm bleeding okay that, that's a very suspicious weapon caliburn whoa this is an interesting looking sword you have to investigate its abilities it seems like it's just an iron sword but it looks really cool whoa 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 what is it what what is it doing what did i just do i didn't i didn't mean to put down this spell i mean i did i think these ones are just what? Why would you want this? Magic staff of explosive mana. Oh. Oh. Oh, if I hold it down, it like targets something. Whoa. 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 What's that? What am I doing? I'm gonna keep holding it down. Oh my God. That's huge. The, the lightning's getting pretty aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh, on release. 
We've made an enormous crater. That was actually really cool. I'm gonna do that again. That's so sick. Charging it up. Thunderstorms instantly come on. Yeah! And then the rain's gone. Oh, that's such a cool weapon. Wow, something entered my boundary. It was a skeleton. You're dead, buddy. Wait, come back. Seriously, bro, come back, come, come back. You didn't even die. You didn't need <laughs> Staff of spatial disorientation. That sounds like a perfect staff for me. Did I just target this cow somehow? Oh, the longer you hold it down, the faster they go, baby. Get out of here, cow. Now we wait. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Crimson block keys of proximity projection. Why is all the names so freaking long? Whoa, this teleports you. Ooh, I feel like Wolverine. You have to be pretty close. But if you're close enough, it just teleports you to them. That's sick. Wow, that's an awesome item. It makes me wonder, does this thing do anything if I hold it? Oh, I'm not even close. To, I don't even need to be close to him. I just have to look at him. Dagger, go. Why? I'm killing myself. Can't live anymore. Why? What is the point of that item? Back over on the fabric launcher, we have Blockus mod, which adds a bunch of customizable blocks into your Minecraft world. As you see, we scroll down here, we have a crazy selection of different colored blocks. Blaze pillar. I've never seen that. That doesn't exist, but hey, it does now. We actually have gold bars, which dang, that actually might look good. That might look good in between these blaze pillars. Dang, bro. You can make a sick nether base with this. And they also got some crazy stuff. Stuff you probably would never use like this. Like, why would I use that? I want my kitchen to look like RuneScape. Yeah, let's use this block. Stupid. But there's a lot of, uh, you know, crazy colored blocks. You know, if you just want to be super obnoxious and, and you hate your friends. Hey, download this mod on our server and I'll make your house look like throw up. Yeah, I can't look at that too long or else I'm going to throw up. They have paper doors. So if you want to make a dojo, really easy. Make a really confusing box that you live in. Definitely a huge variety of customizable blocks. I think it's nice. They even have caution barrier. Why? I don't know. Role play. Use your imagination. Next up is a even better customization mod called Adorn. I've covered it in another video, but it basically lets you put a bunch of household items that you would not otherwise be able to in Minecraft, like couches, shelves, and chairs. I'm not going to go too deep into this because it's pretty self-explanatory, but like I said, there's chairs, you got bookshelves, even like custom stairs that will turn out better if you know what you're doing. Ooh, you can actually put stuff in the drawer, which is nice. They also have different kinds of wood, which is really cool. The shelves, like I said, you can put items on it. Even if it's a chair, you can make a really, really long couch. As long of a couch as you want. You can change the color of it and it will all stick together. This mod is a no-brainer if you love interior design. Even lamplight. I even got lamplight. The attention to detail here is super awesome, so I recommend the download. The next mod I'm covering is one of my personal favorite. It's one that I've covered before, and that is the immersive nether portal mod, which there's no loading required. There's no portal. You just kind of walk in and out. It's a bit laggy, uh, but the lag will subside. Uh, but that's because it's loaded both worlds up, and the seamless transition is amazing. It's such a cool mod, and it's not really... Uh... Oh, God! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, hello? I'm trying to build the couch through the portal. Uh, this is this is for science. Oh! <laughs> this is the issue when you have like 20 mods going at once. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can make the couch come into the... Oh, come on. It won't let you build in it. But hey, you can make a parkour course. You go right through it. It's whatever. Also, something I like about it is when you make a portal, the portal in the nether will be the exact same size, obviously. That's something I really don't like about the current version of Minecraft. I think they should change it right now. Number seven on our list is a convenient little forge mod called Trash Slot. And it adds just that. A trash slot where you put in stuff and it'll stay there until you decide you don't want it in the trash. But if you put two items over each other, uh, then the previous item will be gone forever, which works exactly like Terraria and I think is a really good. It kind of takes away the purpose of having like a lava pool in your house, which could be wooden. Something that you might be interested in if you are running a forge launcher. Back over on the fabric world, number eight comes in with the simple portals mod, which is another thing that I wish Minecraft had. They have crafting recipes, so you can put this in your survival world if you want. And it's actually slightly challenging to get these, but definitely rewarding enough and easy enough to get that it would be useful to make. You can make two teleporters. So connecting the portals is a little confusing, but I figured it out. Once you walk on it, you hold shift and it will teleport you to the other one. You need two ender shards to connect two teleporters together. So if I right click this, I can take the end shards out. So I can link this end shard to this teleporter and I'll right click this to throw it in here. And then right click this teleporter to link it, throw it in here. 
and now they will work as a teleporter together so you can have multiple teleporters connecting to one you could have one that connects to another and vice versa but that's pretty much as far as it goes definitely a useful mod if you have a big world with many different creations that are far apart at number nine we have the map mod which is just the something that i also wish was in the game there is another one that gives you a little mini map which i'm not as big of a fan of just having a map where you can scroll around and see where you've been is something that's super helpful i think in this one you can also see where other people are which is even more helpful if you're on a co-op world with other people but it basically just takes all the blocks you can even see our really long bridge here which is just sick definitely something that i love about the minecraft modding community is they always know what the players want. The players want a map. They want to zoom in and out. What's so hard about that, Minecraft, huh? And last on our list, number 10, probably the most used Minecraft mod in freaking history has finally updated to the most current version. It didn't take that long, <laughs> which is world edit. Yes, it is finally here. We've been waiting so long. It took them forever. If y'all don't know what world edit is, y'all sleeping. See this? Bam, slash, slash, set, water. There you go. My nether portal's now water. Anyone who makes custom maps on Minecraft kills world edit and now that it is in the most current version we can continue to make all the crazy cool stuff that minecrafters love to make which is weird big unnecessary things and that's just about all the mods i have to show you guys today thank you guys so much if you guys have any mods that you love that are going to be at 1.16 soon or are currently let me know down in the comments thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you unbelievably i'll see you in the next video later oh, 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 oh,